Hi, welcome to QA Scripts. In this video, we will learn what is an object in Java. What is an object? Let us use our old program to calculate total pay of an employee. Here is the program. In this program, we have one method called calculate total pay. We are passing salary and bonus as parameter for this method. Inside the method, we are calculating by adding salary and bonus and storing the result into another variable that is total pay and here we are displaying that result using system.out.println using this particular program we can calculate any number of employees total pay it may vary the salary as well as bonus the based upon salary as well as bonus the total pay of an employee will going to differ so we have to use main method if you call this uh, calculate total pay method inside the main method and if you pass salary and bonus as a parameter then the total result would be displayed here so consider this as a, a standard program or a standard template to calculate total pay of an employee let us take a general example here I am uh, think that someone want to take a loan of 10,000 rupees the rate of interest for the 10,000 is 2% the loan years the to total duration of that loan think that it's a 5 years and total number of uh, payments uh, is 12 means per month he has to pay but I don't know how much I have to pay means if someone is taking loan he doesn't know how much he has to pay as a EMI per month he want to calculate that and he want to know what is the EMI and how long he can pay it later he would like to know the total amount he is supposed to pay at the end of the five year and also he would like to know what is the total interest he will pay at the end of five years because here two percent is the rate of interest for ten thousand so you would like to calculate it if suppose I ask you to calculate this what actually you will open on Excel create for total loan amount column for rate the column for duration and so on so then you will start putting formula then you will come up with a simple template so to prepare this total template it may take 30 to 45 minutes so to calculate simple loan amount you are spending 30 to 45 minutes think that instead of preparing in uh, on your own there is a one template think that there is a template already exist in your system so what is your job you can just open that template fill the required information that is loan amount percentage uh, of rate rate of interest and the duration immediately it will populate the remaining data that is how many EMIs you have to pay what is the total amount you are going to pay at the end of the duration and what will be the rate of interest so what is the easy task preparing the template yourself is easy or using already prepared one is easy I feel second one would be very very easy let us look at that template what we have in our excel sheet what actually I will do I will open one excel sheet and if you go to new and click on that new there is a one entity or option called sample template I will click on that sample template once you click on the sample template you will be able to see different templates 
among those different templates there is a one template called loan here you can calculate the loan amount as well as total EMIs I will click on that once you click on here is the template where you can give the loan amount annual interest rate loan period in years number of payments per year what we have opted start date and uh, some other information once you click on uh, sorry once you enter all the information it will display every information in the uh, below row here is my excel sheet where i have clicked on new as i was saying there is a option called sample templates let me click on sample template here is the one template called loan then let me click on that loan when when i once i click on that loan i will be able to see this template so let me enter loan amount as 10000 rate of interest is 2% duration is 5 year number of payments per year i would like to say 12 start date let me take it today's date that is 12 zero nine when I enter the required information immediately I'm getting the remaining uh, I'm sorry uh, I'm going to get the total uh, EMIs as well as principal amount what I am supposed to pay the interest I'm going to pay at the end of uh, five years all the information is coming out here so according to this data total interest I'm supposed to pay is 516 since the amount is very small so the total amount for five years I'm I'm going to pay is 516 dollars like that actual number of payments are 60 because 12 per year means for 12 into 5 that is 60 so this is already existed template I took that template from Microsoft Office I have given the data it is my data and I'm going to save this to my local uh, system as a local copy let me save it so now I have saved it think that I want to open fresh copy of this template so when I open the fresh template will it have the same data no it will not have the same data because as I said it's a fresh data so whatever the changes I am going to do in this local copy it will be present in my local system only it will not affect to the original template or original copy so what exactly I am doing here is I am taking that uh, template I am according I am modifying according to my requirement I am uh, 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 saving to my local system it is literally I am copying that uh, originally uh, existed template and modifying according to my usage and uh, uh, saving into local system so the local system changes will not going to affect to the original copy of the template to show it the graphics so here is the template that is present in Microsoft uh, Office what I am doing I am copying to my local and filling the data and saving into local this is what ideally I have done with Excel template let us correlate that example into our program that is for calculate total pay so here we have calculate total pay program this program helps to calculate total pay of an employee it may be 100 employee or 1000 employee so this is a pro this is the program I have written suppose if I ask you to write the same program what I will do you will start writing in your machine so it will take uh, two to three minutes instead of uh, uh, taking two to three minutes to write the program you can use already existed program that is employee program how to use this employee program as a template and how to modify is the uh, interesting 
part EL. So to copy this particular program into your uh, uh, class, it is not like copy paste as we do text copy. Instead of that, there are some ways to copy. How is the interesting thing? Let me here create one class called execute employee class having main method inside it to copy this method or entire class we have to use a simple variable that is here I have used obj that is object you can use any other name for this what kind of data type should be there it is not like int data type or float data type instead of that we have to use the same name of class that is employee so I have used employee obj equals to we have to use a keyword called new that is all small then again the class name the employee so if you do this much this is nothing but internally you are going to call or you are going to copy entire employee class to uh, one object that is obj so this obj is nothing but an object so object is nothing but copying the class to a variable when you copying is nothing but you are taking the control of this particular program that is employee program so when you type obj dot you will be able to see all the methods all the variable which are present in the employee class to do demonstrate in Eclipse here is my employee class where I am having one variable that is total pay and another method called calculate total pay inside the calculate total pay I am calculating salary plus bonus and storing the result into a variable called total pay and the same is displaying out here I am creating one more method sorry class called execute employee having main method inside it now I want to copy the class employee how to copy means you have to create an object so as I said first I have to type the um, uh, class name that is employee in this case so I can just type EMP that is first C character of and class and I can I have pressed control then space automatically all the classes starting with EMP are getting displayed here my class is employee so I have used that and I will name on uh, variable name that is obj equals to type new again EMP control space use the employee uh, class name and complete the sentence now this obj will be having all the behavior or the characters of this class and it will have control entire control of employee class so when I type obj dot I will be able to see a, uh, a variable called total pay that is uh, into data type what we have declared in employee class this is how you can easily identify what kind of data type it has and where it is coming from which class it is coming from likewise there is a method in the employee class right here is the total calculate total pay hence when I type uh, obj dot the same method is coming and displaying out here that is calculate total pay and it has parameters that is int salary and int bonus so if I uh, if I want to calculate total pay of an employee so easily I can use these uh, two uh, uh, one way sorry I can use this calculate total pay method and here I can pass the values that is 20,000 and 2000 as bonus and salary I can execute this program from execute employee means where I am calling that particular class so let me execute when I execute 
here is the result that is total pay of an employee is 22,000 because I am passing 20 plus 2,000 that is 22,000 the interesting part here is I am copying that particular class to my class and I am passing the uh, parameter values so it is uh, nothing but I am copying a template to my local system and I am modifying according to my usage and executing these changes will not affect to main class that is employee class so this entire employee class works as a template so here we are calling by copying it so object is nothing but copy of an class copy of a class in otherwise we can also say that instance of a class so whenever someone ask what is object the object in Java is nothing but copy of a class or instance of a class here in another method uh, sorry in another class we are creating that uh, uh, object by copying all the characteristics of one class that's why we can say whenever we say object object is nothing but copy of a class or instance of a class once you create an object that particular object will be having all the characteristics of that copied class thanks for watching this video if you like this video please press on click and also uh, enter the comments so that we can improve if you have any doubts or questions please mail us at info at the rate qvscripts.com or qvscripts25 at the rate gmail.com you can also see this video in our website that is www.qvscripts.com thank you for watching